everybody. In this video, this Clash of Lords 2 video, we're going to be talking about the update that recently came out. I'm a little late for this, but that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and review that and see how good or bad it is. See what's going on with that. Let's go ahead and start off with the first thing on the list. Um, as a forewarning, since I am a little in real time, I, I won't be able to show you the Enlightenment and since Evolution Essence hasn't come out in the game yet, no one, including myself, will be able to show the Evolution Essence. Uh, the Enlightenment, though, when it's referring to the Ancient Spirits, which I'll show you in just a second. Okay. Where does it show the Ancient Spirits? Where does it show the Ancient Spirits? Okay, 9A shows ancient spirits grant unfathomable power. Your heroes can use them to attain enlightenment, gaining immense use, boost excuse me, to the power and attributes. Uh, let's go ahead and have a few of them already from the PvP menu uh, in the Colosseum. Let's go ahead and put in all those eggs into there. These will be the ancient spirits that it mentioned. Let's go if we can go ahead and read what it says. Uh, it says exactly what I read already. Okay. Obviously, since it's not to be a hero, has zero and zero HP and attack. Um, the nice thing about this is that since these do actually take up a hero spot, you can actually shard them for the exact amount of shards that it requires, and that'll save you a space. Because as you see right now, I'm at 137. If I were to shard this for 2,500, I would go to 136. This would go to 5,000. I can go ahead and fuse, 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 excuse me, one, uh, lower mine by 2,500. And that will add a new one there. So you can basically save space with these, which is really awesome. Um, I know the first level... For the Enlightenment. It's supposed to take 10 of these. In the PvP menu. You get a total of 5. 4 regular. And then enough shards to make another one. Which is why I have 2 that I already made. You get 5 total for free. The rest of them you have to get from. Either the 10 times higher. Or you can purchase them. Obviously I don't believe there's been any event. To actually purchase. The ancient spirits could be wrong it's not gonna do it all right well let's go ahead and go to the next thing on the list let's go to the bottom let's see what the one first one is enlightenment and the second one first one is enlightenment which I can't do because of my account restriction Second one is the Evolution Essence, added for just those five heroes, the Great Sage, Chiron, Ambrosia, Abyss Demon, and Berserker. Um, the ones I've seen developed are the Ambrosia, and I think I've seen one or two levels for the Great Sage. In just a moment, I'll show you a fully enlightened Ambrosia. Yeah, fully level 10. Huh? Let's go ahead and go to 2A, like I mentioned. Uh, each of the five heroes can evolve using their respective evolution essences. See, this is a thing that I was misled. I thought the evolution essence is, would be for any hero. As long as you have enough evolution essences, you could apply them to any hero. But no, they're restricted to the specific hero. It's like a glory type of thing. Abyss demon can only be glory to an abyss demon. Just like a abyss demon evolution essence can only be applied to a Nibis demon, and so on and so forth for the other heroes. I didn't really like that, but that's, it still helps though, I guess. It'll probably be really rare though. Okay, the good news is, no other hero resources, like mutagens, rings, souls, uh, anything like that. So you can technically, if you have a billion jewels, you can technically have a level one account with a Pisces hero, which is kind of crazy.
I see zero. Yeah. Okay. Obviously, another thing about the evolution essence is not just one evolution essence per Evo. Like if I were to go to uh, Ambrosia, I would just go ahead and do this. It's not one evolution essence for this, one evolution essence for this, one evolution essence for this. No. I think one evolution essence will be for that. I think this one might be like 15 or 20 evolution essences total. And that combined with how rare they are makes it quite hard to obtain. So Pisces is still kind of hard to get for free-to-play players. So what happened there? Let's go ahead and go ahead and see what's left in the update. We didn't cover much yet. Um, as we mentioned before, evolution requirements don't apply. We only have to use the essence instead. Um, new newbie XP eggs added. This is a misleading thing. You would think it would be good, but it is not. I will show you. This is what they're talking about. The newbie XP eggs. It does not, I will, I will just put a disclaimer. It does not level your hero to 120. That was a theory that had been put pot back in the past, but that is not true. What it does is give you 15,000 XP. So it gives you total XP worth of two coral eggs. But here's the bad thing. Say you were to upgrade. Oh, let me just do this. Oh, let me move this here. See if I can get a hero. Uh, no, I cannot get a hero. So what I'm gonna have to do is this. If I can get a chest, I'll just show you really quick. What I mean. Nah, might as well get a hundred percent chest. Greatest possibility. Of getting a getting like a rare or like a good hero. In the terms of rarity. IGG rate, but there we go, perfect, got a hero. Let's go ahead and finish this, start this back up. Okay, now let's go back to work. Back to the newbie XP egg. Okay, if you were to put one of those, like level up, like say, instead of an egg, you wanted it to uh, go into a sniffer. If you added a That's a glory egg, my glory egg. done to really really crappy whatever heroes are called doesn't matter okay start over okay this newbie xp egg if you add it to a any other hero like if you were to do it instead of an egg if you were to add it that would give it 15,000 xp the problem with this egg is it also has a secondary effect where if
if you now use that sniffer ruse and then you use the sniffer ruse to upgrade say an ambrosia or some one of your main heroes if you now use that sniffer ruse it's harder to upgrade that main hero because it'll give it less xp show you what i mean it's really really deceptive show you so let's go ahead and read what it says newbie xp eggs grant 15,000 xp which is two coral eggs and can be fused to upgrade heroes below level 120 so level 1 to level 119 those can get the egg heroes fused with newbie xp eggs grant less xp when fused with other heroes or magic powder when salvaged so they if you just upgrade it to a main hero that's fine but if you upgrade it to a different hero and then put that different hero onto your main hero that's when it becomes a problem because then your main hero is now basically effed um one other thing about the magic powder is i discovered it don't 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 powder it it'll only give you five powder five five powder for this i will show you five powder is incredibly low Go ahead and do this. Five powder. That's ridiculously low. So don't powder it. Just put it to your main hero. Because the effect it has is it does not affect the main hero if you just put it on the main hero. It affects the main hero if you put it on a different one. And then put the different one onto your main hero. So as long as you just put it on your main hero, you'll be fine. Okay. Let's go ahead and see what the next part of that is. Okay. Oh yeah, and XP eggs can't fuse with it. So the newbie XP egg can only be level 1. You can't make the XP egg, newbie XP egg, anything else. Um, as mentioned in 3C, next line down. Can't be upgraded. Um, yeah, heroes will record the total number of newbie XP eggs they have fused with. Heroes fused with newbie XP eggs grant less XP when fused to other heroes, like I mentioned before. Um, newbie XP eggs can be salvaged for 5 magic powder, which is really crappy. Uh, heroes fused with newbie XP eggs grant less magic powder. We already went over that. Newbie XP eggs can't be used for enlightenment. What I'm thinking for that is that on higher level enlightenments that require XP, I'm thinking that's what's the case. I can't confirm that. That's just my thoughts. New level 40 enchant skills added for Wrath, Enchantress, and Savage Chief. Let's go ahead and check all those three out. So let's go ahead and check out the Savage Chief first. Let's go ahead and see what the new level, new third level is. Uh, Kamaraderu. Increases damage absorbed by shield. Hmm. Could that be a good one? I mean... 50,000 with the highest 240,000 uh, that's um, it's only about 5% that's that's a uh, hundred percent if I'm not if I'm understanding that right it doubles it that's a good amount then I would say that's a decent investment if you want to waste your tank crystals into savage chief I mean, he's not a good hero at all right now. But if you want to, you can. It seems to be generally effective. Let's go ahead and check out Enchantress. Increases stun and silence immunity duration and divine skills by half a second. This is really good. Even though it'll be only half a second, the stun and silence immunity duration increasing is really, really good. That means your Enchantress Divine, especially with Spices, can last a really, 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 really long time. It can last 10 seconds longer. 10 seconds longer at max. That's crazy. That's basically... Let me see. That's basically double the Capricorn. That's 25 seconds of Enchantress Divine. 
if you use the renovate in Pisces, that's 50 seconds of the full Enchantress Divine. That's just, that's just crazy. That's really good. Really, really good. I think that's going to be the last one. Just real quick, I got it. Okay, let me do a siphon. Increases damage dealt divine. Excuse me. Increases damage dealt by divine skill leech effects by 0%. Or phase 2, 4%. Go ahead and do this here. Leeching by 50% of attack. 75% of attack. 100% of attack. So, that's a... That's a pretty good increase. That'll increase it by about 80% at max. If it has a 4% each time. That'll increase it... 80%, so that's, that basically almost, almost doubles the effectiveness of the Pisces, Pisces Wrath. If it does 100% attack now, 180% is almost 200%, so it's almost double. It's really, really good. So if you have a Wrath, I will definitely go ahead and go through with that. Second, do Enchantress. And if you really want to waste your Enchant Crystals, Go ahead and do a savage chief. If you really want, really, really want to waste them. Okay, let's do what's next here. A surrender button has been added to Colosseum. It will only appear 15 seconds after the battle starts. This is amazing. When you face Colosseum, it was. You always faced teams, well, seemed to always face teams that were much, much higher than you, especially if you were high ranked. Like the 2500 or up. You always face, seem to always face people that were higher level than you. And you had to wait for the, and had to wait until they killed your altar. Sometimes it resulted in even a tie. This is awesome. Because then you can just quit out of the battle. You don't have to quit out of the game. And then when you come back, you're still in the battle. Quit out of the battle. Do another battle if you want. Or do something else. Okay. New season rewards in Colosseum. Fame has been reset. I can't show them right now because the Colosseum is over right now. But essentially what it is, it's just like the normal roll. It's like um, the trial tokens, which you can use to get enchant crystals. It's the XP stones, gold, souls, rings, all that jazz. Um, it's also these stats that are coming up in the future. It gives you, in different levels... It gives you enough shards to make one, and then after it gives you the final 1,000 shards, it'll give you a, actually one of these, and then it'll give you four full ones in total. I have three right now because I'm at 2,700 in Coliseum, approximately. So to give you those, it would be about five in total, and that would be for the Ancient Crystal, which is what I had with the uh, PvP or Coliseum rewards. Go ahead and... What the heck is going on? Did I miss something? Okay, that was weird. Okay. A countdown timer has been added to the friendship chest. It will be removed when the timer ends. What that's referring to is a Facebook chest right here with the event coming up. It'll be 23 days, 19 hours. I really think this is a bad move for us i know why they did it because it gave a lot of rewards and itg wants us to to basically pay them to get some rewards get good rewards they don't want to give us all these free rewards which i understand as a business that they need money but this really really helps out free to play players as well as pay to win but it really really helps out free to play players to actually be able to do anything in this game, essentially. Wow, that was just too late. Okay. And then, new Falls goodies and events added, and more purchasing stuff. New Ancient Spirit added, mentioned that already. Uh, maximum level for Ancient Spirit is 1, just like the newbie egg, you can't upgrade it. We already mentioned the harvesting, we already mentioned how to get it. And one thing that it didn't mention, which I really like, is Colosseum matchmaking. 
before it was virtually impossible to move up. Because you got minuscule rewards for moving up. Like maybe 6 to 15 points. But then when you lost a game, you lost about 40 to 50 points. And you had to win so many battles to even gain even a slight profit. But now, you basically have an even trade. You lose anywhere from 20 to 30 when you lose. And gain about 20 to 30 when you win. Which is really, really awesome. It actually makes the game playable this time. Which is really awesome. Okay, the last thing I want to show you is a fully enlightened Ambrosia. And we have a buddy in our guild. I believe his name is Palacio. If I'm not mistaken. I think it's him. That makes a lot more sense now. Okay. This is the fully enlightened Ambrosia. You see it has the level 8 insight. What the insight is, is the effect that you get when you do the enlightenment. When you do enlightenment level 1, like the first enlightenment, because it has 10 levels. When you do the first level, you gain the level 1 insight. This is the one that's fully maxed out. Which is reduces silence durations against Ambrosia by 30% and increases the attack rate by 16%. The attack rate is good, it's not as important as the reducing silent duration. Because now Great Sage can't do much, can't do as much at all, and Wonton Divine can't do much of, can't do really very much at all versus Ambrosia, which really, really helps it out. Especially, especially with an Enchantress Divine. With the Enchantress Sage, you can essentially never lock her out with that. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to end this video. Let you know how it went. Be the, be the best video I've had so far. And with that, I'll be out. Peace.